are always really scared. I just saved his life. I'm shaking. So not as bad as him. Okay, we'll oh. go. We'll go to town. That truck would have just totally just squished it there. Yeah. All the birds would have eaten it. That must have just happened. All right, cover him up. Literally left the camp. Um, Joss was flying the drone. I was driving. Went past um, yeah some roadkill, and I just caught a glimpse of like something else on the road. So I was like, we'll pull over and check. And yeah, it was this little baby Joey just trying to like climb around the road. And just as I'd picked him up, I literally walked like 10 meters away off the side of the road because a big road train was coming. Obviously he can't swerve to miss the kangaroo. So he just ran straight over it. So this little guy, oh, so close to being roadkill. Oh, so he's so little and so scared, obviously. Look at his little umbilical cord. Look at belly button. Hello, fella. So we're just at the vet. Um, we're just gonna go over and just hopefully they can check him out and then um, pass him on if there's any like wildlife um, rescue people or something. But um, he's calmed down a lot, so I hope he's not injured and I hope he'll get looked after. We did what we could. We did what we could. The lady at the vet was so lovely. Um, they had a little pouch ready for him, so um, so yeah, we just handed him over. She was going to get a little heat pack for him. She said he looked alright, um, and they've got a local lady that rescues them. So yeah, so 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 happy that my baby's going to live. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually getting really like scared in case they were going to be like, eh, whatever. Like, no, nah, that, that was like a legit vet. Yeah, so they were really lovely young ladies um, that were working there and scooped him up and knew exactly what to do. Um, said thanks and yeah, I think he'll have a Hopefully a good little life when he gets grown up. He can get released back in the paddocks away from the roads though, Joey yeah. stick away from the roads So we are on day one of our week around Townsville yeah. and We are just outside Charters Towers at this Longhorn cow station thing it was a part of what we're doing for towns tourism townsville so we're just going around looking at all these longhorn like texan cows which joss is so excited about we're the first ones here so we're here nice and early but yeah we'll haven't seen a cow yet haven't seen a cow they must hide them but yeah cute little function center so yeah we'll take you around today show you some cows super exciting and then we jet up. When we say long horn, it's like a long horn. Like yeah, like a metre, like more. <laughs> out of the tent. Two metres. No. Yeah. I think that, they couldn't balance their head. No, nah, you'll be surprised. Two, three metres. We will confirm how long the horns are and then we'll go back, we'll go into Townsville after this. So yeah, stay tuned. I bet their ends like this gets better than ours, the ones we made. <laughs> Not better than mine. Definitely. <laughs> Going into the love shack. We've swapped drivers, so. Have we? Yeah, Mick's taken us. So Texas Longhorn Wagon Tours and Safaris is owned by Mick and Linda Bethel. They've spent their whole lives breeding cattle in the bush and they're renowned for their Longhorn Tours now just out of Charters Towers. Mick and Linda both have a real deep passion for what they do and they really warmly welcomed us. It was such a great experience. You can see the passion behind everything that both of them do and the stories that Mick tells as he takes you around seeing the cattle is always a very unique experience. Remember this, don't worry about getting hurt or dying, okay? Because we all got to die of something, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can certainly do this safely if you want to stick up, put, you know, take a uh, you know, stem side and stuff like that. At arm's length, get your phone to take a, you know, somebody take a photo you know, when you're doing it. But, no? Yeah. Just, Oh, 
up in his head and like, if, he, if he goes to swing his head, you can mm. tell it's saying that it's saying, okay. If he gets... So what happens, what will normally happen is... Such a fun day. I'm a bit of a cow nerd, so I was propping that. <laughs> it was good. It was a really it was good, good, good such tour. a good tour. It went really quick, which I was actually worried that it would go longer, but it was, went really quick. Nick is so knowledgeable, obviously, what he's doing, passionate, and he's just a good laugh. Eh? Yeah, yeah. No, really good tour. Yeah, good. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. And lots of facts and yeah, yeah information. So. Yeah. It's cool what they're doing because obviously it's not common to have it's very this different. type of cattle and they're just doing it as, I feel like it's just kind of like a hobby. It's not like really, they don't kill them for meat or anything like that, so yeah, yeah really cool. Mm. I'm just going to go check out the gallery. You're going to check out the, the longest horn one. Yeah. Who held the record in the world for five years. I'm going to sell food. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> record for the longest horns for like five years. Is that it, yeah? Oh, yeah. So 277 centimetres. Wow. We are now in Townsville. Uh, we're just going to go down to the Strand. Um, which is like the waterfront precinct and have a look around before we catch the ferry. Uh, we've got about an hour or so, so we're just gonna have a quick little look and then yeah, go over to Magnetic Island. Another beautiful day in Queensland. Oh, oh hello. Oh, look at these, these are nice buildings. The old town. Are you going down there? No. No, can you? No. Oh. just pulled up to um, the ferry terminal where we're gonna put the car on. Um, it's just two lines, super simple. We're third in line. Uh, we are early, but there's no one around really telling us what to do, so. Awesome. Yeah. Ask me if everyone's on the boat, but um, don't know because I'm not the um. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. Is everyone on? Megan wants to go to the toilet. One more car. Okay. Captain rang. He said, "One more car, so you have to wait." Oh. <laughs> I'm hello. so glad I've captured this. Hello. Because this is the shit I deal with. Hello. I would say on the daily. Yep. Okay. Toilet's blocked. <laughs> yep. Wait. Bank, 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 oh. You have to wait to open your car. <laughs> Shut up. Yep. How, many, how rough is it on the way over? <laughs> Roughest water you've ever been on? Mm. On the way over. How long? <laughs> Four days to get there. So you don't have time, guess Why? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, I won't put you through the whole conversation. Yeah, okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> hey, bang. Oh my god, stop. Picnic Bay, just come up the jetty. Uh, it's really cool. You can like look off the jetty, and there's lots of coral and fish, and um, a few boats pulling in there. But no one's swimming, so we're not that keen to get in. But it's pretty cool to look just from the jetty here. We've just 
driven down to Arthur Bay, um, so from the main car park up there, we were arming and ahhing if you can actually drive down this part. There's other cars down there, there's accommodation here, so I'm assuming it's all good. And it's only a 200 meter walk down now to the beach, but we're not too sure if we can get to Radical Bay from here. We'll figure that out once we get to this little bay. up in a different spot this morning there was a bit of like a band last night and it was really lovely and fun and that stopped at 10 I think which is fine and then um, people proceeded proceeded to have like parties on like their um, accommodation balconies and just like honestly like chalk and rubbish and really loud and stuff. favorite kind of people my favorite kind of people the ones that don't know when to shut up or be quiet so we had to move from our spot because we were so close to their balcony up the hill just to try and get away and it worked it was much quieter yeah. away from them obviously that's what we did last night at like midnight or 1am or whatever it was but today even though we're tired as hell we are doing something super 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 exciting i haven't done it in like years and joss has never done it before i'm nervous joss is nervous but i think he's gonna love it um, so yeah, we'll show you. Unfortunately, as we descended down, the GoPro buttons got stuck in due to the pressure. We didn't have a dive housing, unfortunately, for this dive, but we did buy one not long after this for our next dive, so stay tuned for that video. So you didn't see what we saw down below, but it was epic, let me tell you. It was one of the best experiences I've ever done, and I'm so keen to get back in the water. So yes, trust us when we say it was amazing. Success. 